Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr. Delicious and welcome back to my channel. My channel is Mr. Delicious, the traveling tutor and coach. And I am back because this is already August. And then after August, we have uh, September and then October. And I am going to use my platform, my YouTube channel to help the Papua New Guinean students in their preparation for the national examination. So I will try to reach out the grade 8 students, the grade 10 students, and the grade 12 students uh, who are uh, taking or are going to sit for the mathematics uh, national examination. So the grade 8 mathematics, the grade 10 mathematics, and the grade 12 advanced mathematics and uh, general mathematics. Now, because uh, we don't have much time about discussing the other topics, I am going to use the past exam papers to uh, uh, discuss with you the, uh, the past exam papers of mathematics for grade 8, grade 10, and the grade 12. For now, I am going to begin with the grade 10 past exam papers. So I will be using past exam papers from the year 2010 up to last year 2020. So bear with me, follow, subscribe my YouTube channel, and uh, watch my video tutorial so that uh, at least in this simple way, I would be able to uh, assist you in preparation for the national examination. Okay, now let's begin with a grade 10 um, past exam paper year 2010. Okay, let me begin with the first question. Question number one. Uh, the question number one is what is 12 and one half percent of 10 kilograms in grams. So the first question uh, for, for the national examination grade 10, usually uh, the first, there are three parts of your exam and that is part A, multiple choice, part B, short answer, and the part C is extended response. So let's start first with the part A, which is multiple choice. And this is the first question. Uh, what is 12 and one half percent of 10 kilograms in grams? So this is how you're going to work it out. Remember that you must always secure the correct answer and by in doing so, or you have to show you're working out. So that is 12 and uh, 12 and one half percent of 10 kilograms in grams. So you have to emphasize the grams because that is the, the, the question of item number one. Okay. So that means now take note that in your lesson, the, the expression that is with the unit in person page uh, must be first converted into either decimal or fraction. So for my case, I used to uh, use the uh, decimal. So I will now express this uh, 12 and 1 half first into so 12.5%. Okay, Mo of, of is multiplied by 10 kilograms. So meaning 12% of 10 kilograms. So let's start first with the kilograms and then later the final answer must be expressed in grams. Okay, now in order for you to remove the percentage, you need to uh, express or convert this one into decimal. So the percentage percent, percent means uh, per hundred. So that means you move the decimal point one, two, it will now become 0 0.125 times 10 kilograms, okay? Now, the technique when you are multiplying a number by a power of 10 by 10 or with a 0 is that all you need to do is move the decimal point with respect to the number of 0. So here, 10 kilograms has 1 0. So that means that you move the decimal point to the right that is now here, so with respect to the number of zeros. So since we have one zero, move the decimal point once only. So the final answer now is 1.25 kilograms. 
Now take note, this is just kilogram. Oh, you must convert this kilogram into the question which is in grams. Question is, how many, kilo, how many grams are there in one kilogram? The correct answer is 1,000 grams. So that is, now uh, you need to multiply this. And because the kilogram is in numerator, then you will have to put 1 kilogram over here. Take note, the equivalent of 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams. So when you put the kilogram in the denominator, the other kilogram is the numerator. So we can now use cancellation method. That is algebra. Okay, so now we don't have kilograms. We are now left with grams. Now because we have three zeros here, when we multiply a number by this uh, uh, thousand, all you need to do is move the decimal point of this number with respect to the number of zeros. So there are three zeros. You move the decimal point one, two, and three. So that means you will have to add another zero. Therefore, the final answer is 1,250 grams, which is the correct answer is, this is a, what is 12 and one half percent of 10 kilograms in grams. The correct answer is letter A. Okay, you got it? So let's letter A. That's question one. Now, let's move on to question number two. What is question number two? Okay, you notice that I am uh, rushing because remember that there are approximately uh, 50 questions for paper 2010 alone. So we mean, that means that we let's, let, let us not waste time. Okay, next one is question number two. What is question number two? Okay, this is question number two. And the question in question number two is, a discount of 20% is given on a TV set. This reduces the price by 190 kina. What was the original price? So when it comes to a word problem like this, these are the options here, okay? When it comes to the word problems like this, all you need to do is focus on the question. So let us write down first, what is the re uh, requirement, okay? Or required, okay? That is, the requirement is the original price. Okay, take time to uh, work it out. Show you're working out like this so that you will really secure the correct answer and you will definitely score high in your national examination. Okay, and another one is we have 20% discount. So the discount, so these are now the given. You have to write down the given. The discount is uh, 20%, okay? 20% in the, uh, is the discount. Now, this reduces the price by 190 kina. So, this amount, 190 kina, is the amount that, uh, that is uh, uh, given as a 20%, okay, the original price. So, that means that the, this is a, uh, the reduction of the, the original price is 190 kina when the 20% was given. Okay, so that is, this is how you will work it out. Okay, the solution for this is like this. So let, let this uh, original price, okay. So we have, uh, what would be the original price when the reduction is 100 90 kina okay so 190 kina x so let uh, let x be the original original price okay so x times 20 percent okay so that means 
Or you could say, you could write it this way as the 20% of uh, X is, okay, that amount 190 kina. Okay, we are going to find the price. Okay, so now we work out X. Okay, this one is uh, 0, 20% multiplied by x equals uh, 190 and therefore this one is we divide both sides by 20 percent by 20 percent cancel the 20 percent now we have okay x is equal to 190 divided by 20%. Okay. X therefore is, well, you cannot perform an operation for this if you're not going to express the percentage in decimal. So let's do 190 divided by 0 0.20. Okay. So that is now X is equal to 190 divided by 0 0.2 uh, and that is move the decimal point 1 and then you add another 0 here okay so that is now 19 divided by 2 and that is 8 8 or uh, uh, no it's not 8 it's 9 9 9 times 2 equals uh, 18. And then the operation here is subtraction. 9 minus 8 is one, uh, 1. You bring down this 0 and that is now 10. 10 divided by 2 and that is now 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And this zero will now go up and you have 950. Therefore, the correct answer is 900, 950 kina was the original price of the TV set when the 20% was given. So this is how you are going to work it out. Okay, I hope that's clear now. Now, let's proceed now to question number three. Question number three. We have, let me now rub this one out. Okay, question number three is, okay, this is now the question number three. I hope that it's clear to you there. This is question number three, and this question is very common in the national examination. For grade 10. So this is uh, grade 10 mathematics national examination past exam papers uh, year 2010 question number three. Now okay so what is the technique uh, when you encounter this kind of question? Okay the first thing that you should do when it comes to graphs is to check the uh, variables along the uh, y-axis and the x-axis. So over here the common variable of, of the five graphs is uh, distance time uh, distance time graph okay distance distance time graph distance along the y-axis time along the x-axis that is the very first and important thing that you should do is to check the the name of the variables along the axis okay when it is distance time graph that means that the graph that we have illustrated here, okay, the, gra the, the that we sketch here, is actually the velocity or the speed. Now, because it's a distance, uh, we it should be a speed because distance is a scalar quantity, and this as well as time. So therefore, the uh, the one we graph here is a speed. If it is uh, displacement versus time, it would be velocity so that is a vector quantity okay anyway so we have the given here is 80 kilometer per hour 60 kilometer per hour and 90 kilometer per hour so 
That means that we are having three uh, slopes or three speed of the curve. If you are going to check the, uh, uh, take note, 80, 60, and 90, and it will be obvious in the graph, the, uh, the, the changes of the graph. And that means it will also show uh, three slopes of the, the graph, okay? Because of the differences of the speed, 80, 60, and 90, okay? For graph A, <clears throat> you will notice for graph A, uh, the, uh, this line here, the third one, the third slope here, is horizontal to the time. So meaning to say that if it is horizontal to the time, then there was no movement of the, uh, the car, which means that there was no distance uh, move, and it, it is not the letter A. Letter B, if you check the letter B, we also have uh, one, two, and then three, suddenly it slowed down. But it, in, in, in our given, it is not slowing down because the value is 90 km per hour. So it should be um, accelerating and, and the value of the, uh, of the speech is, it should be sloping highly. It should be steeper. Next, letter C. If you look at the letter C, there is only uh, two, one, and two. Okay, one and two slope of the graph. So that means to say, this is not the one because it has to have three, okay? And it will show that this is 80. Uh, uh, it, is, it was really fast and then it slowed down and then it, uh, it went faster again, 90. So it should be uh, going up. So, and also the line here is uh, uh, parallel to the horizontal line. So that means there was no distance made. And it, the card, it did not move. Okay, and letter E, there are three. One, two, and three. Okay, one is a, a accelerating or it's speeding up. But the second slope is parallel to the horizontal line. So that means to say that the car did not move. Okay, so this is not the one because the second value of uh, the speed of the car is 60 km per hour. And from there, it decelerate. This one is deceleration. It, uh, it's now uh, moving back to its original position over here. Therefore, the correct answer here for question, for this type of question, is the letter D. Look at this one. How many slopes do we have here? One two, and three. This is 80, speeding up, and then uh, still continue its motion, but it, uh, 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 it went slow, and then suddenly it speed up again. Therefore, the correct answer for question number three is letter D. So you don't need to work it out for as long as you know how to interpret the graph, you know how to read the graph, and you don't have to worry about working it out. Okay? I hope that is clear. Now, this is the, uh, we have done the question one, two, and three, and therefore, uh, we will proceed to question uh, uh, four uh, after this. So, we'll let me uh, uh, have a break on this, and we'll continue for the video number two, uh, Grade 10 Mathematics, Pass Exam Papers, uh, Year 2010. Okay? See you in uh, video number two.